Hi, Fran Torson here. We're going to create a custom outro for Social Video Spark. This custom outro is an outro that we will upload to Social Video Spark, and then we can attach it to the back end of any videos we want when we're posting online. So let's say you want an outro that is basically, you know, carries your logo, your picture, your company name, your uh, email address, perhaps your telephone number, you can tack that onto the end of any video in Social Video Spark. And I'll show you how to create that outro using a simple tool here. Of course, you can, if you have another video creation tool, if you're using Explaindio or Easy Sketch Pro or Video Maker FX, you can create it there and then upload it to Social Video Spark. But I'm going to show you how the little studio here works and create a new video. So I'm clicked on create new video there. The, the video creation studio is opening and you'll see the first thing it does is gives you an opportunity to select an image or drag and drop a file over here. Uh, what this video, okay, what type of image do you want? You want an image with an aspect res, you know, ratio of 16 to nine. That's the perfect aspect ratio for a high definition video, the type that's used in uh, in YouTube high definition videos and on Facebook videos. The perfect size I think for creating this uh, image graphic is 1920 by 1080. So if you are using Photoshop, make your canvas size 1920 by 1080. If you're using another free tool, if you're using Canva or using or a free tool like PicMonkey, you can create a canvas that size and then build your build your uh, graphic there. What I'm going to do is I'll probably just go and pick a solid color or maybe I'll even take a look and see what kind of pictures they have here. Um, that could be, you know, that could be interesting. But you know what, just to keep it simple, let's go, let's keep it real, real simple. And I will select a, a background here. How about that? So I will pick a Let's see here, something very light. You know, maybe something, okay, I'll set the color. There we have a canvas color that uh, that I can pick. I will add a tag, I'll add some text. So I can click on the text here to edit this. So I may want to have my name. Whoops. You see, I am not the world's best typist. Now the text is certainly editable. Uh, you can select a style here. Let's see, what is, what is, mm, that's interesting, zebra liner. What is that? I don't think I like that. Um, but I might take campus, how about that, just for the heck of it. And then I will pick something, of course, larger because this is not going to be very easy to see. How about 48? Yeah, okay. And I'm going to take another, there, that's better. All right, I may take another item of text here also and put in a telephone number. How about that? I want to show you how this is going to work with a click to call and I'm going to use my number here. Um, I'm using a Google voice number so please don't be calling it a whole lot. I'm using this for informational purposes. All right. Um, now if I had chosen to upload a um, my own image for this slide here, what would have happened was, you know, would have been, I could have had my picture. What I probably do is have my picture over here. Or I'll have a logo over here and then some other information. So that's something that you can do very, very easily. You can select, you can create a number of slides here. All right, you can add another slide and another slide. If I add another slide, you see, I get the same choice here. I could add another slide and, and uh, have a motion background. And then I could also add text on top of that. 
All right, I probably want to change that color to white because it's a little hard to see that way, isn't it? And I'll make that a little bit bigger. You know, I can double click that to All right, let's see. So I can center that and then I have a two slide outro here. You see that? You can use your own videos here. You can use your own slides, your own image slides. You can do all kinds of things and just add them one after another to create your outro. Um, you see, just very, very simple. No big, you know, no, no fancy bells and whistles, just something quick and easy. You can add a, an audio track here. You can record your voice if you like. Hi, this is Fran. Please call me 317 publish. I can't wait to talk to you. All right. So I just recorded audio there on that. And that is uploading. If I want to add music or something else, I can do that here in a secondary track. So, okay. So that's it. So there we are. I'm going to be selecting this as an outro video just for the heck of it. This is just a, uh, a quick, very, very quick video. So we'll save and render that. Okay. It says that our video is now rendering. It will take several minutes to complete and then we will be ready to post it on the page. Now, when this video is rendered, I'll come back and I'll show you how you can add it to one of your video memes in your bonus area.